Hello guys, here's the next video for Unity 5 and in this one I will show you how to create a low poly particle system for fire and smoke. So here's the low poly fire blaze model I created and the first thing I will do is to add a point light to it. So right click this model in the hierarchy then select light point light. Okay, I will move it a little bit upwards, decrease the range and set the color to an orange tone. And I will also increase the intensity to a value of 1.3, that's okay. All right, and now let's add two child objects to empties. And one will represent the fire and the other one the smoke. And to both objects, I will add particle systems. Okay, now we have these two game objects. I select the fire, press add component and add a particle system. So here you can see the default. The rotation is not correct. We have to set it to point upwards. So I change the X axis rotation to minus 90. And then let's set all the necessary parameters for these fire particles. First I set the start lifetime and the start speed for the particles. And you can see the result of my manipulations directly in the viewport. Okay, now I set the color, the initial color to an orange tone. We don't see this yet because we didn't attach a renderer. I will do this in one of the next steps. I set the gravity modifier to a value of 0.2. Okay, this seems to look quite nice. Keep in mind this will be a low poly particle system, not a realistic fire, don't expect this. Okay, the emission is at 10, I keep this for now, and then let's define the shape of these particles. We will keep this to a cone, you can see this here in the viewport, but I changed the angle and the radius. Okay, and then I will define the colors, which we still don't see, but I promise I will set it in a moment. So first let's set the start color, and I set it to an orange tone, a darker orange tone. Okay, and then I will set the end color. This will be the color the particles have at the end of their lifetime. Yeah, something like that. And then we have to define the alpha. We start with a full alpha of 255 and in the end they should fade out, so I set the alpha to zero. Great, and now finally I will set the renderer to the default sprite renderer so that we can see how this will actually look like in the end. Yeah, this is already quite nice. I really like these low poly particles. You can see how they fade out. That's really nice. Okay, now let's continue. I set the particles to rotate over their lifetime. 
I will also decrease their size just a little bit. You can play around with these parameters by yourself and get an impression what looks best. Okay, we will keep this like that, but one thing I want to activate and this is the lights. We will set this here to the point light and this gives a kind of flickering effect of the file, which is really nice. Don't exaggerate this. Now let me exaggerate just that you see what happens. Especially if you have the post-processing effect for your camera bloom activated. So you see that's too much. Find a realistic value or a realistic combination of these values and this will look really cool. Now the last thing for the fire that I want to set is the size of the particles over their lifetime. Activate this and this is a curve and I start with a size of 0. Then I double click on this curve to add a new point to this curve and each point has a handle. And with that I'm able to define a shape for this curve and for the fire I will create one that is not too regular. Okay guys, that's it for the fire and now I will copy this particle system, select the smoke object that we created and then paste this particle system to the smoke object. Again, I have to fix the rotation and set it to minus 90 and then I set the start color to white. Okay, now let's see which values will look realistic for the smoke. Perhaps I set the start lifetime and the start speed to 2 and the gravity modifier I set to 0. This is not a must, this is just trying out values that look realistic. Now let's see the shape of this. I think I will leave this as is. But what we have to change for the smoke is of course the color. I will start with a light gray tone and in the end the color should be white. The start value for the alpha shouldn't be 255, I would say a value around 100, 120 and in the end the alpha will be zero, of course, it will fade out. And look at this, it's almost done. Disable this lights parameter. And after that, I will set the curve, this size over lifetime to a more regular one. Okay guys, let me add one more thing. This is a kind of refactoring. I want to add one parent for this fire and smoke object because then I only have to set this rotation one time and not for both objects and I would have more control with one parent for them. So that's an easy task. Create a new empty object and let the fire and the smoke be children of this object. Then I will remove the rotation of the x-axis for the fire and the smoke and set it to zero again and set the rotation of the parent object to minus 90. Okay my friends, I think we are done. We defined a nice low poly particle system for fire and smoke. And what you can do now is you can just drag this object, this fireplace object into your prefabs folder, then again into your scene and use it wherever you like. So what did I do? Of course I updated my Unity package on Patreon, I added the link to the description of the video, so this particle system is added and also some other nice objects. If you like this video then please let me know and subscribe to my channel to not miss a future tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching.
Thanks for your support and see you soon on JNM.